water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This is going to be your reading. Um, let's see where your relationship is going, where it's headed from now until next week. So this is going to be for all of you guys that are couple, single, married, divorce, and um, or just partner of interest. This is going to be for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus. I know you guys commented and asked about that, so I don't like to repeat things, so that's kind of why I forget to repeat things sometimes, you guys, but you guys know what you're doing. You guys, um, feel like you're dealing with Earth, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn here. See where your relationship is headed. For a few of you guys, I feel that you guys are waiting to see if, you know, there's going to be a balance of give and take. If there's going to be reciprocity from between you and your partner. If not, a lot of you guys are thinking about going your separate ways. Or, you know, maybe an earth sign is feeling this way towards you. I'm going to look at, based on your past, present, and what's coming towards you guys in the near future. What your intentions were, you and your partner, and your intentions now, leading to the future for both you and your loved one, or just someone of interest, and where the relationship is now, and how you guys are both seeing yourselves. So, coming from the past, okay, could have been dealing with the Capricorn. But someone likely had addiction, sex, drugs, al alcohol, or codependency issues. Um, could be may maybe Pisces that I'm speaking to right now. I have the hangman here. But, you know, this just really tells me you have a lot of um, indecisions right now. Okay. See where the relationship is and how you guys are seeing yourself. Pick the side that you're on and know that the side that you resonate more with is just stick to that side. The other one is going to be the partner of interest that I'm reading for. This won't apply to every single water sign, but Looks like, okay, from the past, someone, both of you guys, maybe one or both, had a decision to make. You guys were both juggling, or someone was juggling. Someone definitely came from a bigger loss than the other, but someone was more self-reserved. They were holding tightly onto something, and they couldn't let it go, or they were not as, you know, freely open to either giving or accepting um something but the other partner was coming from ten of swords someone with a bigger loss you know someone who had been either maybe backstabbed hurt or betrayed this is long suffering so i'm seeing that you know when you guys came together i'm seeing i'm feeling this feeling of someone helped the other and yeah it formed into a stronger commitment than it planned you know it just kind of happened in the present moment, I don't know if there's been a fight, an argument, unfavorable message. Someone's definitely in their mind and their thoughts about something. And there are, you know, they're kind of scared watching, um, holding, you know, this is like that feeling of unknowing, but scared. So scared to maybe open up, let go, or, you know, just guarding. Um, not so freely giving is kind of how one partner feels. And even though they were feeling this way, there, it still led to a commitment. You guys still felt this, you know, passionate um, feeling for your partner. You or your partner, you were maybe dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or they had it in their chart. Um, but I feel that, you know, despite the past, this is kind of what you guys are coming from. Your intentions was that it was a commitment. It would lead to a commitment. Their intention was, you know, um, maybe 
they wanted to see, because coming from the Ten of Swords, they weren't ready to jump into it right away. You can see they were still getting over a loss, but with you guys, there was a lot of affection. There was a lot of um, intimacy, likely, and there was definitely a connection that was made. And maybe now, you know, this is, it formed into a relationship where it was feeling that way. But someone still had to choose. Someone was, you know, indecisive, and I feel like it's because someone was still very guarded and still recovering from the past. And it could be dealing with the Taurus or a Libra. Or someone you just saw very sexy, very loyal, very abundant, he or she. Um, someone who maybe was pregnant, someone who maybe was a mother. Someone who, you know, definitely was capable of nurturing this relationship, but there were a lot of doubts, a lot of worries, a lot of fears, and maybe it was an air sign that got involved. But for a few of you guys, I've been picking up strongly. It's you guys are dealing maybe a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. Someone was maybe very cutting with their words. There is also this indecision now. Your partner is feeling like they have two choices, options, you know, they're feeling like they have two different paths, rows ahead of them. And either you or your partner is feeling like, well, you know, there was definitely something that happened that separated you guys. And, you know, it's this, this feeling of loss, worry, discontent, stressed out. And someone's feeling like they have to walk away from something that they built. Something that, you know, there's eight cups standing. She's holding one and walking away with it. So I'm getting that, you know, there was a lot of, definitely a lot of energy, a lot of time, a lot of emotions, a lot of energy that was spent towards this relationship. However, it could be distance or, you know, something with car troubles or something that, you know, financial. There was definitely a third party. Um, third party doesn't have to be a particular person. Could be anything, you know, things that like kids, school, family, um, whatever it was, it wasn't just, you know, you and the relationship. Someone's definitely feeling very on guard, not knowing what to expect right now. Where the relationship stands, I feel that you guys are trying to, to uh, okay, with the five of wands here, there's definitely competitors. There's definitely someone either looking at, okay, Queen of Pentacles came out again. Um, there's definitely someone who is either interested, um, you know, in you guys or your partner. You know, there's a lot of gossip possibly going around and you guys don't know what to believe. But, you know, you're trying to open your eyes to, you know, how you feel. You know that deep down this is like truly the partner you want to hold on to or you're holding on to maybe another earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. But there's a lot of gossip going on. Water signs, you guys, I don't know. <laughs> you guys do chit-chat a lot. But no, nothing against you guys. Um, my Venus is in Cancer. But I can relate with the five of wands with my water signs. Because, yeah. There is something. You guys are trying to seek out, you know, friends and family support system. To help you decide, like, which path is right for you. And maybe how to, you know, proceed with this relationship. The sun, it is, the where the relationship is now is that it is going to lead to the most optimist um, optimal favorable card in the deck happiest card in the deck is the sun card of leo but you know this is saying that you guys um, have something here that's very strong connecting to you guys both there is going to be a fresh new beginning if you guys are worried about finances i had to mention that because this person here is like being very frugal you know being very like holding on tightly to what they have. And you see all these pentacles for a lot of you guys. It was maybe perhaps financial um, circumstances that got in the way between you and your partner. After all, Queen of Pentacles did come out over here. But I feel like whoever was dealing with the loss, third party situation, still needing to recover is kind of where you and your partner stands right now. You guys aren't seeing eye to eye, but someone definitely wants to manifest this new beginning and they have judgment. Someone's making a decision soon, you know, and there's going to be brighter days ahead. This is definitely taking a chance, taking a risk, saying yes I do or no I don't. But someone's still trying to wait it out and see before making this decision. 
going to the near future, if you guys, you guys pull the card of karma. If you guys hurt somebody, um, karma's coming back and it's going to come back tenfold. If they hurt you, it's going to come back tenfold. And maybe this is why someone's going to be a little bit um, held up and, you know, feeling like they're going to feel oppressed, overburdened. I, you guys trust me, I believe in karma. <laughs> I am a firm believer in it. And so trust me when I say if I feel like, you know, it's deserved, it's definitely deserved. If it's not deserved, just know that it is going to hit them back. You guys don't have to worry about that. All right, <clears throat> I wanted to do this. So this is kind of what you guys can expect for you and your partner. I wanted to say it from their point of view and your point of view, but definitely this, you know, the magician, the judgment card, and justice on your side, this is definitely going to lead into, yeah, a successful, yep, maybe with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius. There's somebody that I'm feeling like is involved. Maybe you guys are feeling hurt or betrayed by your partner right now because you feel that, you know, you're losing out, yeah. You are with your soulmate. I feel that, yeah, there's one more card. You guys need to have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Trust that maybe they're telling you the truth. Because I feel that this is a, your soulmate that you guys are already. You guys have definitely have already met your soulmate or will be meeting one very soon this month. I'm doing this from now until the end of the week. But um, could be with a fire sign that's feeling this way. A Cancer. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Libra. Leo. Maybe Sagittarius are the ones that I'm picking up in this reading right now. But every sign is in here. But the heaviest one I feel like I'm speaking to right now is the water signs. Okay, so hope this reading helped you guys. You guys, I know when it does pick up on those energies and they, you know, they reach out to, I've seen it because I see them come back in the private readings as well. It almost like immediately matches up and I know I've reached that particular person. It was, that reading was meant to reach. If you feel like it's resonating with you 100%, this reading definitely was for you. If not, don't try to make it fit. But this is why I do these videos to reach those specific people that need it the most. Alright you guys, um, I hope you guys enjoy this. I'll see you later. Bye guys.